Greetings, my friends. Today we're out in the woods and I'm playing with my selfie stick. And uh, I brought along a few things with me. Um, I have been feeling called to come out here. And today is a beautiful day for exploration and for um, special intentions. And uh, I have a few things in my, my bag here that when I get to my destination, I'll show you what I brought uh, because I just love these woods out here. And I want to do what I can to protect them. And as a practicing shaman, I am going to share with you my practice. Now, normally I do these things and I don't share what I do with anyone. I keep what I do private. Um, I guess I'm most secretive because I am a Scorpio and we like to keep secrets. We certainly do. So, um, but I am being very strongly guided to share some of the things that I do in my life uh, because I hope to inspire people and I hope to motivate people to create the positive change in the world that they want to see. I'm carrying forward the message of the great Mahatma Gandhi and I want to I wanna see change for the better in the world. And these woods here that I just love so much. You can see that tree fell, so we got to do a little trailblazing. So I have to find another way around. So I'm going to continue my message in the next video because I have to now find a new path. And I'm so out of breath from talking and walking because apparently I'm out of shape. So I'm going to be working on that too. But anyway, I will catch you in the next video. Well, hello. Welcome back do part two of my video. Hey, doggy, you can see what I'm gonna do. So I brought with me in this bag, wait do you see this. I should wait until a wind picks up, uh, but nonetheless, they're gonna go everywhere. I brought with me some milkweed from my garden that I saved, and I'm going to spread it around in this area because it's open and it gets a decent amount of sunshine over here. Now, it'll fall amongst the tall grasses here, and hopefully some of these will make their way into the ground, and next year, maybe I'll see one or two, so we'll see. All right, so here we go. Whew, I'm out of breath. I'm so excited. All right. So the birds will also eat these, I assume, if they find them before they get a chance to germinate. And, you know, we'll just let nature take its course after that. After I spread them around, I'll leave that right there. And then we'll do this one. Ooh, look at this. Wow. This is cool. This is beautiful. All right, so that's beautiful milkweed that'll attract butterflies and birds and beneficial bugs, hopefully. Not the bad bugs. I don't want the bad bugs. All right, and then there's still more in here. Whee! All right. Be free to prosper and multiply and bring us beauty. Now I'm gonna leave the rest of these pods out here because they will eventually just keep blowing and you know, they'll become part of the landscape and uh, help to add some, some of the plant material to compost down here to be a resource. All right, so we'll put that right there. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. And now I have something to sit on for part three. Doggy, we're gonna sit right here. You sit right here. We're gonna see what's in the bag. Yeah, you wanna stay with me? Sit right there. Let's sit down in the grass with me. What? All right. You want a special treat? 
I'll give you special treatment. Let's see what I got. Oh, do I got this? What's that? Do I got that? Good girl. All right. Okay. This is part. What was that? Part three of my little video series. Uh show you what I brought out here. This is a treat offering for the woodland creatures out here. Um, to keep them healthy and happy and out of my garden. So I periodically come out and make a donation to the, the woodland creatures out here so that, you know, they're happy and they're peaceful. So that's actually why I'm here. I'm here for peace. I'm here to call out to the great spirit for peace, for love, to ask for intercession and intercession to happen, to um, anchor in peace, love, and unity into this planet and actually into this surrounding area here because I love these woods and I don't want anything to happen to them. But I love this planet and I don't want to see anything happen to the planet either. So I am here to do my thing to um, try to bring in the energy of peace and inner harmony and unity and um, working together. Even if we have a difference of opinion, we can still come to the table and talk to each other. When we lose the ability to do that, then we lose our organized society and the structures that are in place right now you can see that things are going in the wrong direction so i am working behind the scenes and doing my thing to try to anchor in a different new energy and if you look at my website and everything that i've put on there you can see that i have transformed into um somebody different and that was my journey and um so i'll show you what i brought with me and um let's see we'll start with this bag now all these things i made for myself i made this bag um and i made this bag to have my drum actually i don't even need this out right now i'll just put that in there so what else right now i have to undo that <sighs> So let's see what we got in here, okay? So I'm out here to connect with my ancestors and the ancestors that used to live on this land. And I'm asking for healing and anyone associated with these family lines. Here's my grandmother on my mother's side. I didn't know my grandfather, he died when my mom was very young. And then these are my grandparents. So anyone in these ancestral lines, I am praying for healing, for love and compassion and for anything that they need. And same thing with the family of Dorothy Robinson. And my dad's, uh, my mom's dad's name was Joseph Goff. So, um, I brought that with me to remind me of, you know, where I came from. And then um, today, coincidentally, is the day that my mom had surgery on her hand. So what I have here is an offering to Great Spirit of healing. Now I pray to Archangel Raphael for healing, but there's many out there. And so I have Hopi Indian tobacco. And tobacco seeds and tobacco leaves that I'm going to leave to the earth as an offering of healing because it's the earth that gives us the healing energy through the, the medicine that the earth gives us. So I'm also making a medicine um, back at home for my dad and um, another medicine. I already made him one already. So this is my offering to the earth so that the medicine works. And I'm going to spread that here. And I thank the earth for all the abundance that I have in my life and in addition to that I also have an offering of my beans that I collect 
for any of the animals to eat or if they germinate. That's awesome. So spread them far and wide. And this offering, it says, may this offering restore love and peace in the hearts of humanity. And same thing with this one. Now this is Indian blanket. Oh no, this one. The other one must be Indian blanket flower. This is the, I choose the native seeds. This is forget me not um, that I collected that I provide out there. Hopefully we'll come over here and we'll see them. I hope, you know, I do this a lot and I, I, um, I seldom go back to the same spot to see <laughs> if anything um, germinated. And then finally, the Indian blanket flower is right here and the birds love to eat these and hopefully they'll germinate because they're native. All right, so we'll put this away. My remembrances, I also have remembrances on me to remind me of the reason why I get up every day. I have a gift that my oldest daughter gave me. I have a gift that my middle daughter gave me. And I have a beautiful card that my son wrote me for my birthday with a sentiment in here that is really remarkable, really remarkable. So that's why I get up every day and do anything I do. It's for my kids. And so now what I will do, and I'm gonna turn the camera off for this, but I just wanted to show you what I have here um, because the next part I, I still am gonna keep that private because that is my ceremony for the land to uh, protect the land and to ask, ask the great spirit and great creator to help us to bring in the peace and the love that we need to solve our differences and to come together and to create a better world for our kids to live in because that's what I'm concerned about. What kind of world am I gonna leave for my kids? So I have to do what I can in the power that I can do it and um, this is what I do. So signing off for now, I had to make sure I know where the dog is. <laughs> Um, she's out there. So I'm signing off for now and I will see you in the next video. Pray for peace. Namaste. So I'm still back out here in the woods and I had to move away from the area that I was in after I was done doing what I was doing because the energy of that area was very disturbed and um, I came out here and it's much more peaceful out here so what I was discovering was that um, after sitting and meditating on it I'm hearing the spirits of the land calling out and waking up and I did a little ceremony to wake up the land for the spirits um, because they have a message for us they they are here to help us and offer us hope and um, to connect with us when we're ready However, I am in a part of the forest that someone else owns. And the reason why I am so called to constantly come out here is because um, the people that own this land want to bulldoze everything that I'm looking at and put a development here. And I just don't want to see that happen. I want to actually buy this land from the owners and create permanent open space and donate it back to the town and create just a park. And that's what I would do if I had the money. So uh, one of the things that I would like to do, which I already started, but um, it hasn't taken off um, or gained any traction yet, but I wanna start doing fundraisers to try to um, build up enough money to make the owners of the land an offer because they keep getting turned down for different things. And um, there's a lot of people that are fighting to keep this land from being developed. Actually, let me hold this up like this and maybe we can 
you know, see how beautiful it is out here. This is home to a lot of, a lot of different um, woodland creatures. And uh, the more that we knock down these forests, the less places that they have to go. And then they start eating our gardens. So, you know, that's another reason why I don't want this to be torn down down here. But there's a lot of reasons, okay? The, the land spirits don't want it to be bulldozed either. They want it. They want nature to thrive. And they want humans to stop destroying it. So, um, I'm just out here, just listening, listening to the wisdom that the woods offers us until the next video.